Yeah, here we are. Uh, for those of you who um, haven't uh, seen me here before, um, what I've done uh, for most of the existence of ACMS is to sort of do trumpeting before every act. So before at the beginning of each of the three sections, I would do a kind of trumpety intro, and then before every act, I would do some sort of fanfare. It used to be that sort of gig, and it still is, minus the trumpet. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just, I basically, um, I haven't done, uh, you know, I've sort of been around comedy for a bit, so I thought I'd come and say hello uh, and do give a little update about what I've been up to. Um, so yeah, trumpeting is sort of, you know, used to be my main uh, sort of gig. Last couple of years been a bit weird post COVID and stuff, and so um, I've kind of pivoted away a little bit from that, um, and I've got really upset. I just want to, I've got a bit, sort of bit of a show and tell, is that cool? Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, this big case here. It's like I'm about to assassinate someone. Um, okay. <laughs> the last, uh, <laughs> last couple of years, I've actually got really, um, really into these things. Anyone know what this is? Conch. It is a conch shell. You are correct, but you are incorrect to say that because you are not holding the conch. <laughs> It's what we conchistadors uh, call a little uh, conch joke. So, uh, really, really hope you're ready for a few of them. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle otherwise. Uh, so, yeah, the conch, conch shell. Got really into conch shells uh, in the last couple of years. Um, and uh, the thing is, though, my, I, you know, it sounds, it sounds weird, I know, but my career is actually going really well, so it's, it's, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine, I just really, just really got into to conch shells, you know, getting them, uh, um, uh, you know, buying them, uh, playing them. Uh, you can play, play conch shells, so yeah, I'm sure some of you know. Um, so, should I, should, I, should I play it? Yeah! Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh cool, uh, I just, I just, I just, I'm interested in them, but it doesn't go beyond that, it's cool, it's not, uh, it's not it's a problem or anything like that, so uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, so the, the, the conch shells, so I've been, I've been playing them, I've been buying them, as I say, trying to source them as ethically as I can. Um, I've, what I've been doing is going on eBay um, and lurking, um, sort of around, see if anyone's, you know, maybe someone's nan's died and they're clearing out their, their fish tank, they've got, bingo, this guy's straight in there. Picking up as many conscious as possible. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, it does make me a bit self-conscious. You're right. Yes. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, been buying uh, uh, shells. And, and what's great about these things is you know the purity of them, the simplicity of them. I love what it says about our, our link to our ancient past of musical instruments. You know, I'm a musician. I've got this studio full of amazing musical gadgets and stuff. But this is, you know, it kind of links us back to that. Uh, yeah, so, so I've been buying these um, uh, from eBay, from people's dead vans. And, um, and then what I do is I take them uh, and uh, you have to cut off the end, right, to, um, to make them playable. So that's what you do here, it's a little mouthpiece that you cut off the end uh, with um, a, a piece of flint, if you're feeling authentic, or, um, or, or maybe a little hacksaw. Uh, so I've been doing gigs, this is absolutely true, where I've been taking hacksaws to gigs. Now, I've only got seven minutes today, so there's not enough time to make a conch shell, but what I have to do at the start of my conch shell sets, I get a hacksaw, can't like literally make a conch horn on the stage, absolutely kills. Yeah, of course, you don't have time today. Next time, next time, I think I might bring a hacksaw down and, and do that next time, but I think that's cool, and then maybe it's just, you can stagger it over, over the over the show. Um, yeah, so, it's fine, as I say, as I say, the career is actually, it's, it's fine. It's, fine. It's, fine. it's really flying, actually. It's really good. So, um, yeah, so, been doing that, uh, making them. Um, uh, do you want to see another one? Got another one? Yeah! Uh, Tucked away. Okay. Got this bad boy. Yeah! Oh, that's right, yeah, big 
you know, it's un uncut yet. So yeah, next time that's what we're going to bring the hacksaw. Out. And uh, we've got another sound. Yeah, but the great thing about country as well, right? You know, there's real simplicity to them. That's good. Just chipped a bit of my country out. Um, what's going to? Don't worry, I've got a second one. Um, <laughs> What, what's going to, uh, you know, what's great about them is you can, is the, the simplicity, you can only play, you know, you can play like a, of quite a limited range, but it's beautiful, isn't this, right? So yeah, in, in terms of creative expression, you've got that note, <laughs> and, no, 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 it's not just that. <laughs> that one too. That's right. And you've got a couple in between. these ancient horns, getting to know my kind of connection with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't worry. Just, just keep that there for a moment. So. <laughs> With, uh, with technology, music technology, and all that kind of, uh, you know, what, like what it says about us as a species to to, to be picking up a conch and making a, a, a musical tool out of it, a tool of, of self-expression, you know, and it's just, it's really, um, it's really powerful, isn't it? Sorry. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. anyway, it's, it's, not, it's not a really, it's not a problem, so I'm here, I've got a partner's time with you. And, <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, we have got two kids, and that, you know, it's, we've got to make a living somehow, and, and just, uh, it's, 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 um, I just, they're, they're not that expensive on eBay, you know, I mean, it, it, I guess it's more of a, it's, I mean, it's an investment, really, in, in my future career, you know. Yeah, so, uh, it's still got more minutes. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a little uh, conch, con conch it, uh, to, uh, to, to, to wrap up, um, but uh, I've got a few more, you know, kind of uh, tools in my arsenal. Uh, oh, one sec. Uh, oh, no, this is a playable one. So some of these are, uh, you know, unfinished, but here's we got a playable one. Right, uh, yeah, finished, okay, yeah, we can get, yeah. Awesome. 
it's really spiky. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's prison, isn't it? You know, you think about it. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry, just more. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just in case I wanted to. Uh, yeah. This is the one. I know. Uh, one of these. Uh, yeah, is the one that someone cut off at the last gig. An audience member. I got bored of doing it myself while I was trying to do a set. So <laughs> I got the audience member to get the hacksaw. And as I say, things are going brilliant. It's good. <laughs> right. Okay. But the pièce de résistance, right? Us conquistadors, uh, as, uh, as, as both of us call ourselves. Um, we're really into this, right? It's me, and there's another guy in Germany who is uh, even more into this than me. And he has access to an ultrasound machine, a laser scanner, and a 3D printer. Wow. Yeah, you're right. You're right to be briefly awed. <laughs> yeah, that's the 3D printed coach show right there. Nearly 300 quid, that was. <laughs> Thanks to Brexit and port charges, yeah. Yeah, do you want to hear it? Yeah! yeah it's the most, it's genu genuinely, I've got a whole, you know, bunch of synths and all sorts of like, shenanigans in my studio. This is the most technological instrument I own. You know, they had to scan it, they had to do all that, and then print it. And listen, it sounds incredible, it sounds, it sounds like, like the future. Yeah. <laughs> 